Let us now pray the Oratio Imperata for protection against COVID-19. Please all kneel. Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, Dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope, and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Amen. Our Lady, health of the sick, pray for us. Saint Joseph, pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, Pray for us. San Roque. Pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz. Pray for us. San Pedro Calungsod. Pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, today we offer all our masses, our prayers, our sacrifices, and charitable works today for all the souls of our faithful departed. Let our sacrifices today show us that we love them even beyond death and that God's love transforms and changes us into children of God. And so to prepare ourselves to offer this Eucharist for the souls of our beloved dead, let us first acknowledge our sins and humbly ask the Lord for His pardon and mercy. Lord Jesus, you raise the dead to life in the Spirit. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you bring pardon and peace to the sinner. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you bring light to those in darkness. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Listen kindly to our prayers, O Lord. And as our faith in your Son, raised from the dead, is deepened, so may our hope of resurrection 
for your departed servants also find new strength through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the Book of Wisdom. The souls of the just are in the hand of God, and no torment shall touch them. They seemed in the view of the foolish to be dead, and their passing away was thought an affliction, and their going forth from us utter destruction. But they are in peace, for if in the sight of others indeed they be punished, yet is their hope full of immortality. Chastised a little, they shall be greatly blessed, because God tried them and found them worthy of himself. As gold in the furnace, he proved them, and as sacrificial offerings, he took them to himself. In the time of their visitation, they shall shine and shall dart about as sparks through stubble, they shall judge nations and rule over peoples, and the Lord shall be their king forever. Those who trust in him shall understand truth, and the faithful shall abide with him in love, because grace and mercy are with his holy ones, and his care is with his elect. The Word of the Lord Thanks be to God. The Lord is my shepherd. There is nothing I shall want. The Lord is my shepherd. There is nothing I shall want. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. In verdant pastures, he gives me repose. Beside restful waters, he leads me. He refreshes my soul. The Lord is my shepherd. There is nothing I shall want. He guides me in right paths for his name's sake. Even though I walk in the dark valley, I fear no evil, for you are at my side, with your rod and your staff that give me courage. The Lord is my shepherd. There is nothing I shall want. You spread the table before me in the sight of my foes. You anoint my head with oil. My cup overflows. The Lord is my shepherd. There is nothing I shall want. Only goodness and kindness follow me all the days of my life. And I shall dwell in the house of the Lord for the years to come. The Lord is my shepherd. There is nothing I shall want. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. Brothers and sisters, if God is for us, who can be against us? He who did not spare his own son, but handed him over for us all, will he not also give us everything else along with him? Who will bring a charge against God's chosen ones? It is God who acquits us, who will condemn it is Christ Jesus who died, rather was raised, who also is at the right hand of God, who indeed intercedes for us. What will separate us from the love of Christ? Will anguish or distress or persecution or famine or nakedness or peril or the sword? No. In all these things, we conquer overwhelmingly through him who loved us. For I am convinced that neither death nor life, nor angels, nor principalities, nor present things, nor future things, nor powers, nor height, nor depth, nor any other creature will be able to separate us from the love of God 
in Christ Jesus our Lord. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Please stand. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Your words, O oh Lord, give joy to my heart. Your teaching is light in my eyes. Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to the crowds, Everything that the Father gives me will come to me, and I will not reject anyone who comes to me because I came down from heaven not to do my own will, but the will of the one who sent me. And this is the will of the one who sent me, that I should not lose anything of what he gave me, but that I should raise it on the last day. For this is the will of my Father, that everyone who sees the Son and believes in Him may have eternal life, and I shall raise Him up on the last day. Brothers and sisters, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. My dear brothers and sisters, we will spend this whole day offering our prayers, our sacrifices for the souls of the faithful departed. And especially this celebration of the Mass, we offer for the souls of our beloved dead. But I would like to remind all of us that we will offer our prayers and masses particularly for the souls in purgatory. <clears throat> the souls in heaven are already enjoying with God. They do not need our prayers anymore. In fact, the souls in heaven are the ones praying for us. But our prayers and masses today are particularly offered for the souls in purgatory. But let me also remind you, sometimes we think of purgatory as something evil. The devil is not in purgatory. God's grace is in purgatory. The souls in purgatory are just waiting so that they could reach heaven. And I would like to focus my reflection today on purgatory. In our first reading today from the Book of Wisdom, it is said there that the souls of the just are in the hands of God. And they will never experience torment because they are in the hands of God. My dear brothers and sisters, we are reminded today that purgatory is not a place of torment. Purgatory is not a place of torture. It is a place, it is a process of being transformed by God's love. Tandaan po natin yan. 
sabi sa ating unang pagbasa ngayong umaga na ito, ang purgatorio ay hindi isang lugar kung saan pinapahirapan tayo ng Diyos. It is not a place of torment because God's love does not torment. God's love does not torture. But God's love transforms and changes us. But yes, transformation and change most of the time can cause pain and suffering. That is the pain and suffering of purgatory. When you are being transformed, when you are being changed, there may be pain, but it is a pain born out of love. Naaalala ko po noong uh, ako ay nagkaroon ng sakit no na sabi sa akin ng doktor oh bawal mo na kainin ito bawal ka nang pumapak ng chicharon <laughs> bawal ka nang pumapak ng ganito yan no very painful sa akin yan no masakit pala kapag tatanggalin mo yung mga masamang nakagawian mo na <laughs> mahirap that is the pain of transformation That is the suffering of change and purification. That is the pain and suffering that souls in purgatory undergo. They need to remove everything that is not from God. And that may be painful. They may suffer from that. But that is transformation, suffering born out of love. Remember, Purgatory is not a place of torment and torture. It is a place of transformation. It is a process of love. And how can we help the souls in purgatory? Remember in our second reading today from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans, St. Paul tells us nothing can separate us From the love of God, not hunger, not persecution, not even principalities and powers on this earth, and ultimately, not even death can separate us from the love of Christ. My dear brothers and sisters, this fundamental teaching of Saint Paul teaches us that. Even after death, we are connected to Jesus. The body of Christ, the church, we are connected to one another even after death. And so, our love for the faithful departed can reach purgatory. That is why we offer prayers. We offer sacrifices for them. We offer masses for them. By offering prayers and masses for them, our love reaches the souls in purgatory. Because as Saint Paul said, not even death can separate us from the love of Christ. That is why today. Kapag tayo po ay mag-aalay ng mga dasal, mga pamisa, ang ating mga sakripisyo ngayong araw, makakarating ho yan sa mga kaluluwa sa purgatorio. Dahil sabi ni San Pablo, kahit ang kamatayan, hindi makapaghihiwalay sa atin sa pag-ibig ni Jesus. And what is the best Offering that we can give to our brothers and sisters, the souls in purgatory, the Holy Mass, the one we are celebrating at this moment. As our gospel reading tells us today, Jesus saying to the crowds, I came down to this earth from heaven to do the will of the Father. And what is the will of the Father? 
that I will not lose anyone He has given to me and that I will raise them up on the last day. The culmination of the life of Jesus on this earth is the cross, His passion, death, and resurrection that we have memorialized now in the celebration of the Holy Mass. In the Holy Mass, Jesus becomes present to us again on His sacrifice on the cross. And we offer all the graces coming from this table for the souls in purgatory. Believing in His promise, I will raise, it, I will raise them up on the last day. My dear brothers and sisters, let us be reminded today that purgatory is not a place of torment and torture, but it is a process of transformation. It is a place where God's love dwells. And that all our prayers and masses today are offered for them because not even death can separate us from the love of Christ. Amen. Please stand. We believe in the communion of saints. Confident in that act of faith, let us now reach out in prayer for all who have passed away, especially those who need the charity of our intercessions. For every petition, let us say, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That the church on earth may never forget the church waiting for the final glory in eternity. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That light and peace may be given to the souls of those who never knew Christ in this life. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That people who fear death may find hope in the risen Christ and His cleansing forgiveness. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That those who mourn over the loss of their loved ones may be consoled as they pray for the souls of their beloved. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the mercy revealed in purgatory may deepen our trust in Christ. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord of life, we commend into your care the souls of those who wait to share in the glorious resurrection of your Son, our Redeemer, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. Pray, brothers and sisters, 
that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Look favorably on our offerings, O Lord, so that your departed servants may be taken up into glory with your Son, in whose great mystery of love we are all united, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For as one alone, He accepted death, so that we might all escape from dying. As one man, He chose to die, so that in your sight, we all might live forever. And so in company with the choirs of angels, we praise you, and with joy, we proclaim, Holy, 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 holy Lord, Lord God, God of, of hosts, hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed, and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please stand. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation 
giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, Father, who art, art in heaven, heaven hallowed, hallowed be thy name. Thy, thy kingdom, kingdom come, thy, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us now offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I, I am, am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and, and my soul shall be healed. Brothers and sisters, the body of Christ. Amen. Of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, Come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
let us pray. Grant, we pray, O Lord, that your departed servants for whom we celebrated this Paschal Sacrament may pass over to a dwelling place of light and peace. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. After the celebration of the Mass, we will offer special prayers for the faithful departed and bless the prayer intentions uh, offered in the Blessed Souls Chapel of the Manila Cathedral. And also after that blessing, uh, those who may have brought the urns of their uh, beloved uh, departed may come forward so that we could also bless these urns containing the cremated remains of our faithful departed. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow your heads and pray for God's blessing. May the God of all consolation bless you, for in His unfathomable goodness, He created the human race, and in the resurrection of His only begotten Son, He has given believers the hope of rising again, now and forever. Amen. To us who are alive, may God grant pardon for our sins, and to all the dead, a place of light and peace, now and forever. Amen. So may we all live happily forever with Christ, whom we believe truly rose from the dead forever and ever. Amen. And may Almighty God bless all of you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. Panginoon sa iyong kulang. Mishmong kaloob sa ating puso, aming sarili ay aming handog, naging tapat at naging tugon, naririto handa kami, Panginoon.